Welcome to the step one review study guide, and in this lesson, we will learn about the structure, charging, and pairing of tRNA, as well as mRNA start and stop codons. Let's begin with the structure of tRNA. tRNA contains 75 to 90 nucleotides in a clover leaf looking structure. The sequence CCA on the 3' end is where the amino acids are bound. CCA can carry amino acids. There are also a high percentage of modified amino acids on the 3' end as well. This left side of the tRNA is the T arm. It contains the T, Psi, C sequence that is necessary to bind to the ribosome during translation. The T arm tethers the tRNA to the ribosome. Opposite to the T arm is the D arm. It contains dihydrouridine residues, that is the region where amino acid tRNA synthetase can recognize and attach the correct amino acid, rendering the tRNA charged. Opposite of the CCA end is the anticodon. This is the region on the tRNA that recognizes the mRNA sequence in translation. Each tRNA requires a unique enzyme to attach to the tRNA. Amino acid tRNA synthetase will inspect closely and thoroughly to make sure the proper amino acid is linked to the proper tRNA. Amino acid tRNA synthetase uses ATP to charge the tRNA. Incorrect matching of amino acid to tRNA will be removed by hydrolysis. If the tRNA does get mischarged, then the codon will be read correctly but the wrong amino acid will be inserted. The start codon is AUG, which encodes for methionine and eukaryotes, which may or may not be removed before translation is complete. And in prokaryotes, the start codon is AUG, which encodes for N-formal methionine, which stimulates neutrophil chemotaxis in eukaryotes. There are three stop codons, UGA, UAA, and UAG. Remember that if you see any one of these, you go away, you are annoying, and you are gone, this is a stop codon. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.